there's many aspects of development that are relevant on the farm. One aspect is cognitive development. The word cognitive refers to thinking skill. So here we're talking about, can your child process information well? Can your child make decisions quickly and accurately? Can your child control the impulse to do something? Cognitive development happens all the way up into the early 20s. It isn't something that happens quickly. It isn't something that finishes by age 10 or 12 or even 16. Cognitive development really continues into early adulthood. Cognitive development incorporates a wide range of brain activities, of thinking skills. It incorporates the ability to make a decision quickly, easily, accurately, and efficiently. It incorporates the ability, even when you want to do something, to be able to withhold and stop so you don't do something dangerous. It incorporates attention skills. Can you attend to, to the stimuli and maintain your attention for long periods of time? It incorporates decision making in an emergency. When, you deal, when you're dealing with an emergency or an urgent situation, can you make the right decision to stay safe and to keep others safe? Another aspect of development that children on the farm are experiencing is perceptual development. How do they perceive the environment? By toddlerhood, children can see and hear as well as adults. But just seeing and hearing isn't everything. You also need to see and hear and process what you've seen and heard. You need to be able to understand what it means when you've seen something dangerous. You need to be able to see something dangerous and recognize it's dangerous rather than say, ah, that doesn't matter. You need to look at the right things. Looking at the pretty trees doesn't keep you safe. Looking at potential hazards does. Another important aspect of development is social development. Adults, are, adults maintain social relationships, and that's important to all of us marital relationships, relationships with close friends, relationships with our family, actually influence how we behave. We decide what to do, when to do, how to do it based on our relationships. But adults have some ability to make decisions based on safety beyond, for example, peer relationships. Adolescents and children often are driven by impressing their friends. So they may make dangerous decisions to impress friends that increase risk. What's an example? On the road, they may drive quickly because they've got friends in their car with them. They may dress in stylish clothes even though that puts them at risk of long cords or long hair or shirt tails getting caught in machinery. When you're on the farm, safety has to come first. Style should be second.